Hi, welcome to another tutorial for absolute beginners. My name is Monica Matis and I'll be breaking down for you all the basics of club dancing and dancing in general. Please note that all the movements we'll do today and over the next couple of videos are not the fancy show of moves that you'll do in front of your friends to impress them. The movements that we're going to do today are the simplest, most basic movements that I was able to find in over a decade of teaching dance. So start with basics, learn something simple first, and then I cannot wait to teach you all the fancy uh, show of moves as well. Not this type of fancy, I'll show you a clip. All right, first up in our beginner club dance series is rhythm. So I always say having rhythm is have the success when learning how to dance, and that's because you can have hundreds, thousands of moves, but if you cannot do them to the music, you will still look not so great. So if you want to start your adventure with dancing in the club, at weddings, at parties, and just comfortably blend in with other human beings on the dance floor, please keep on watching. People tend to dance in the club following only two basic rhythmic patterns. Not 14, two. Every song has a tempo. This is what the song is built on. And tempo essentially means timing. We don't usually hear the tempo, but we feel it. Now I'll play two different songs and I want you to listen to them and tell me which song do you think is faster. So let me show you where the tempo in the first song is. I'm hitting every single beat. One, two, three, four, right? And this is the second song. The tempo is. So notice that the tempo of the song is very even. It doesn't slow down, it doesn't speed up. And that's because we need something organized to follow. So sometimes we do simple movements that we don't even notice to the tempo of the song. So it can be, for example, a head nod. If we listen to something, we nod our head. Usually it's a song that we like, that we're feeling. Or you can tap your foot, tap the heel, tap the toes. Sometimes we move the torso if we're like, at the bar, in the club. Also, when we're driving, we would hold the steering wheel and tap the finger on the tempo of the song. And I don't know, I don't drive, but I've seen people do it before. <laughs> it's one thing to find the tempo of the song, and it's a whole nother thing to retain it, to keep it. So I'm sure if you've ever tried learning any kind of choreography, uh, whether it's uh, in a group class or from YouTube, you heard the term eight count before. Most mainstream music we count in eight count. So it would look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. But because today I'll be teaching you simple movements, uh, we are not learning choreography, then I'm going to simplify the count and we'll only count to two, okay? So it will look something like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, and so on. How do we manifest, show the tempo of the song when dancing? Pretty much with any single body part. So starting with the feet, let's try and do it on every single beat. We're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. Then with the knees, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then we have hips moving up, one, two, one, two, one, two. Torso, we can do a little twist, two. One, two, one, two. Next up, chest. One, two, one, two, one, two. Shoulders, up, up. One, two, one, two. And then even hands or fingers. So one, two, one, two. We're moving the arms on every beat. Then fingers, we can just snap. One, two, one, 
two, one, two. And some people even use their head to <laughs> kind of move to the tempo of the song and it will look something like this. One, two, one, two. So you can see you can move anything to the tempo of the music. Let's try with the song. So starting with the feet, this is our tempo. Let's count one, two, one, two, and here we go. Two, one, two, one, two. Knee bend is next. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hips. One, two, one, two, one, two. Good. Torso. One, two, one, two, one, two. Chest. One, two, one, two, one, two. Shoulders. Arms. One, two, one, two, one, two. Head nod. Two, one, two, one, two. And fingers. One, two, one. All right, so keep in mind those were some very, very basic movements. I will be breaking them down in the future videos, so please uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Uh, to practice dancing to the tempo of the song, pick one movement and try to keep it throughout the entire song. So it can be anything from the feet we just did, something very simple. And try to do the entire song without speeding up or slowing down. Feet, maybe just arms if you're a total beginner, even hands snapping, okay? So we'll have to start with something simple and build up on that. At first, pick a slower tempo song so that you don't lose a lot of energy and it's easier for you to keep that beat. If you feel like that's too much and it's hard for you to stay on beat, don't worry because we have another rhythm for you to follow. Keep in mind that instead of dancing on every beat of the song, you can skip one and dance on every other beat. So if we count our tempo, we have one, two, one, two, and then second beat will be right here. It will sound like a little snap or clap. One, two, one, two. So you'll notice that the second beat of the song sounds louder. Every single time you hear the snare, it's going to sound like a clap, right? Or a snap. And it's also super regular. It doesn't slow down, it doesn't speed up. We want to just keep the same pace following it. Just like before, when we were dancing to the tempo of the song, we can do any of those body parts to the snare. Before we were going twice as fast. One, two, one. The foot is moving in on the first beat and the second beat. Now we're skipping one. One, two, one, two. See, it's much, much slower. And that way we have a little bit of a break in between the movements. It takes less energy to do them and it just looks more relaxed. Next up, knee bend. So single knee bend, every other beat. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hips, one, two, we're skipping one beat, hip pops up. On two, one, two, one, two, one, two, moving up torso, twist to the left, to the right, on the second beat. Mm -hmm. Shoulders, just a simple lift. One, two, one, two, one, two. We did also the chest, so one, two, one, two, one, two. Chest goes out on two. Okay, what else did I do? Head nod. But that's gonna feel weird, but still correct. <laughs> you can still do it. Arm bend, that's fine. One, two, one, two, one, two. And snap, of course, it even matches the sound. One, two, one, two. Okay, so those are all the movements on the snare. Sample movements, of course, there's hundreds of those out there. Um, to practice dancing on the snare, pick just one or two and do them consistently for entire song. So again, something very basic. Start with arms, don't move anything else, see if you can stay on beat. All right, notice guys that a lot of the songs don't start with the snare right away. They have like a little bit of an intro and then the snare comes in a little bit later on. Listen to the example. Before you hear the snare, you can just move to the tempo of the song and then listen for it. One, two, 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 one
two. One, two, there it is, okay? Uh, another thing you'll notice, a lot of the times during the song, the snare disappears for a few seconds, 20, 30, sometimes longer. Um, what you want to do then is you still want to keep dancing, uh, but you want to retain that same pace so that when the snare comes back, you're right on it, okay? So whatever you're doing, count in your head to retain that rhythm, and then the snare will be back in no time. Before you even practice dancing to the snare, you can practice listening for it. So go ahead, put your headphones on, and try to identify the loudest beat in the song. Remember, it sounds like a snap or a clap. All right, you guys, we covered two basic rhythms. We know how to move to the tempo of the song. We know how to move to the snare. Does it make us look good on the dance floor? Well, not quite. What we need to do is be able to put some movements together. So moving different body parts at the same time, right? Because this does not look very appealing. <laughs> if we only move the feet or if we only move the arms, this doesn't even look like we are dancing. So what is missing is coordination and we'll talk about this next. All right, you guys, that is it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in my future videos. If you found this video helpful or if you'd like me to create more videos like that, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with your two left feet friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm posting new videos every week. Okay, perfect. Okay, three, two. <laughs> you stress me out. I'm probably moving in and out, right? I should have like a marker or something, no? You look like uh, nervous probably, just do it. I've been looking nervous, that's, that's... You can have hundreds, thousands of moves, but if you cannot do them to the beat, you're going to look like crap. Lester, can I say crap in my tutorials? <laughs> I think I just did. Wait, let me rephrase that a little bit.